Good day guys, Raisin Raccoon here, and um, sorry about that, uh, we had some technical difficulties, and uh, we were short on time. And we bring you the awesomeness of Sonic's new voice. I will be looking it up later to inform you guys on who it is actually. And we have beaten it. Oh wow. Uh, so if it wasn't for that technical difficulty, I would have fit this in with the video. Damn it! Oh well. And I could have gotten an A, but I didn't want to. Because I know I can. With the thing of the cutscene. Oh, never mind. Ooh, Oreos. Um, do they have a right for that? Oh. Then again, Publix doesn't really have a right for that. Okay, um... Well... Hmm... I could show you that, but really quick, I'm gonna show you around. Alright, here we got two-player mode. Which is pretty cool, it's like 8-bit. You got one player, two player, and 1.5 player. Um, at first I'm like, wait, what? 1.5? Uh, there's unlockables, I have no idea who else you can unlock, but you have the speed, basically the difficulty, um, that's horrible, never put that in a Sonic game. Uh, let's go uh, with five, because I don't, I don't really see the difference, except for one. Dude, that's awesome, 8-bit Sonic. You can't, any, you can't get any awesome than that, man. So basically, yeah, this is two-player mode, um, no Wi-Fi, but Sonic doesn't really need Wi-Fi. He was never really the Wi-Fi kind of guy. Uh, basically, who can get to the end first? It's simple as that. Looped loops, challenges, platforming, good stuff. Oh, and that weird thing. I don't know what it's... I guess this is there for show, and that one just kills you. I I don't understand that. It just like does it splurt my rings or like does it splurt other rings? Can I kill this guy? Yeah. I guess it has its uh its two player combat mode as well. So yeah, that's that. Um, I don't really want to do any of these because. It's lame. So, uh, Eggman says some funny things. And here's the options menu. <laughs> Very fun. You get to choose from turning your navigator on or off. Pretty awesome. Um, you also have sound, which in every Sonic game you can choose from English or Japanese. Maybe I'll try Japanese later, I don't know. Just for, you know, just because. And the bottom thing that has a lock on it, I would assume it's sound test. And rumble on, of course. Duh. Even though I'm not really using a Wii mode. And you can press B to look at your movies. Here you could see old movies that we have. Uh, our latest one was from here, but we don't want to see that, so just press B and it's pretty cool this game has like 30 cutscenes that's a lot it might not be a lot like compared to like major Xbox games but this is the Wii so it's a lot for the Wii standards and you could change your icon or you could change your name which uh, is cool and here's the I'm assuming Wi-Fi zone where you can uh, put your scores online and test your might against other combatants and there are other stages game land 2 game land 1 oh this is game land okay so this is tropical resort that's my good stuff sweet mountain and starlight carnival hmm let's do starlight carnival and, like I said before, the casino of the level. So, awesome. What? Whoa, dude! 
I'm upside down! Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. It's making a path. Physics. Physics and Sonic. Am I going upside down? Am I even moving? Like, if I let go of this analog stick and... Oh. Oh. Okay, these are... These are... Oh, yeah. Alright, these are the guys that were from... Uh, Sonic Unleashed. You can quick step and dodge their little path and they explode because they're dumb robots. And I'm guessing we have to hit these polygons. Speed of light. More like speed of sound, but whatever. I am not doing that. Sonic has a mind of his own. What? Ooh, Blue Wisp. Alright, let's see what this guy does. Okay, so just shake, and these will become rings. I'm not collecting them. What's this? Oh, okay, I understand. It turns them into P- it's basically the game's P-blocks. Alright, Blue Wisps, P-blocks. I gotcha. Um, okay, so we just take this area, kill a fun bunch of get bad guys, uh, secret switch. That'll take. Whoa. Whoa, free! Free falling. Whoa. 2D. Damn. Alright, let's get out of here on this invisible path. Oh, dude, this is like Tomorrowland. So this is Disney World. I am in Tomorrowland on Space Mountain. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I can destroy these things. Alright, no problem. Bitch. Please. Yeah, let me conserve my little energy. Oh, no, wait, I gain energy. Okay. Every time I kill one, I gain energy, so that's pretty nice. Oh, God. So yeah, the quick step is kind of awkward. Like, you, you gotta get used to it, I mean... Well... I warped. I just warped. Through time. I... Beat Pokemon's logic. Dialga ain't got nothing on that. Wait, what? He's talking about light years and don't throw up? I don't know. Okay, cube. Oh, oh snap. Alright, so this is the P section. So these things, I am guessing they're going to disappear. And uh, I have to do this before I die. And, uh... <gasps> oh no! Alright. Oh, at least we gotta continue with uh, robots playing the trumpet. Alright, let's see here. Oh, don't do that. Cube! It's kind of a funny story with the, the laser wisp. I was uh, sitting there for uh, like literally like a minute, like wondering how to use that darn thing. Oh, okay. Let's use the blue wisp. I have it right. Okay. Oh. All right. Um. How's this gonna work? Um. Oh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh. <sighs> Aggravation. Um, I think I might have to split this video in two parts, so... Uh, for now... Uh, let me beat this real quick. 
Okay, good. Alright, for now, Raisin Raccoon, signing out.